Stanley Diamond. Two languages. Stanley Diamond, the 4th of January, 1922 in New York City, NY the 31st of March, 1991 in New York City, NY. Was an American poet and anthropologist. As a young man, he identified as a poet, and his disdain for the fascism of the 1930s greatly influenced his thinking. Diamond was a professor at several universities, spending most of his career at the new school. He wrote several books and founded Dialectical Anthropology, a Marxist anthropology journal, in 1975. Early Life, Edit Diamond was born into a progressive and intellectual middle-class Jewish family in New York City. His family had strong ties to the city's Yiddish community, and his grandfather had founded a Yiddish theater. However, he rarely discussed secular or religious Judaism in his work, and a biographer characterized his tone when discussing Judaism as dismissive, even bitter. 1. 2. Diamond was interested in African-American civil rights at a young age, writing about the topic as early as age 14. As a young man, he befriended an African-American artist whom he admired, and they remained close. While he was serving with the British Army in North Africa, he met soldiers who had been sold by their tribal chiefs to the South African military. Diamond attributes his social justice values to his early experiences, being a Jew I always tie the two things together, that is, the persecution of Jews and the persecution of Africans and African Americans were twin horrors of civilization. I suppose it goes back, then, to the question of social conscientiousness and social conscience. 3. Education, Edit. Diamond attended the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and then New York University. Graduating from the latter with a BA degree in English and Philosophy. At the outbreak of World War II, Diamond joined the British Army Field Service and served in North Africa. Like many veterans of his generation, he went to graduate school on the GI. Bill. And, in 1951, received a PhD degree in anthropology from Columbia University, where he was greatly influenced by the anti racism writing of Franz Bors. Supporting Diamond's PhD degree was his unpublished dissertation Durame, a protestate in West Africa, 1951. Career, edit. After graduation, his first teaching position was at the University of California at Los Angeles, but as a result of denouncing the McCarthyist politics of that era and on a politically divided campus, he explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF was dismissed and found that no other university was willing to hire him for the next three years. It was during this period that he conducted his first ethnographic fieldwork, which took him in the 1950s to an Israeli kibbutz and a nearby Arab mountain village. On his return to the United States, he taught at Brandeis University from 1956 to 1961. At Brandeis, Diamond became very close to Paul Radin and organized a festschrift for that notable student of Franz Bors. In the 1960s, Diamond was a member of the research team, the first to study schizophrenia from a cultural perspective, at the National Institute of Mental Health. After a professorship at the Maxwell, Graduate faculty at Syracuse University, he moved to the New School for Social Research in 1966, where he founded the New School's anthropology program. Within a few years, 
the program. Developed into the first critical department of anthropology in the U.S., where Diamond served as the department chair until 1983. He became the distinguished professor of anthropology and humanities at the New School and also poet in the university. Diamond later taught as visiting professor in Berlin and Mexico and at Bard College. As an ethnographer and social critic and in addition to conducting research in Israel, he was active among the Anagute of the Joes Plateau in Nigeria during the last years of British colonial rule, among the Seneca Nation of upstate New York, and in Biafra during the 1967-1970 Biafran War when he advocated for Biafran independence. Diamond is also known for having founded social science journal Dialectical Anthropology in 1976. His published books are several volumes of poetry, including Totems and Going West and a collection of essays called In Search of the Primitive, A Critique of Civilization, 1974. In 1968, he signed the Writers' and Editors' War Tax Protest Pledge, vowing to refuse tax payments in protest against the Vietnam War. 4. In memoriam in the journal which he founded, his legacy was recognized thus, Diamond was one of the first anthropologists to insist that researchers both acknowledge and confront power relations often colonial and neo-colonial, that form the context of their work. His sympathetic portrayal of the Arab mountain villages, and analysis of psychodynamics on the Israeli kibbutz, as stemming from an incomplete critique of shtetl life, was as much against the grain of contemporary research then as it is today. His concern for countering racism found its way into a number of trenchant popular and scholarly writings and, always, in his teaching, Dialectical Anthropology, Volume 16, p. 105, 1991. Diamond died of liver cancer on 31 March, 1991, at the age of 69. 1. Major Publications, Edit. Culture in History. Columbia University Press, 1960 Primitive Views of the World, Columbia University Press, 1964 Explore Our Developer Friendly HTML to PDF API Printed Using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF Music of the Joes Plateau and Other Regions of Nigeria, Audio Recording, Folkways Records 1966 the Transformation of East Africa, Studies in Political Anthropology, Stanley Diamond and Fred G. Burke, Editors, Basic Books, 1967 Anthropological Perspectives on Education, Murray L. Wax, Stanley Diamond, and Fred O. Gearing, Editors, Basic Books, 1971 In Search of the Primitive, A Critique of Civilization Transaction Books, 1974 Toward a Marxist Anthropology, Problems and Perspectives, Mutan, 1979 Anthropology, Ancestors and Es, Stanley Diamond, Editor, Mutan, 1980 Culture in History, Essays in Honor of Paul Radin, Stanley Diamond, Editor, Octagon Books 1981 Durham A. Transition and Conflict in State Formation, Burgin and Garvey, 1983, ISBN 978-0-89789-024-3. -0 Paul Radin. In, Siddle Silverman, Editor, Totems and Teachers, Key Figures in the History of Anthropology. Altamira, 2003. S5173, ISBN 978-0-7591-0460-0
Notes, Edit 1 Carat AB Guide to the Stanley Diamond Papers, circa 1934-1991 The New School Libraries and Archives Collection Guide The New School Retrieved 4 June, 2017 2 Carat Jacobs, Jack, 2017 Jews and Leftist Politics, Judaism, Israel, Antisemitism, and Gender Cambridge Cambridge University Press P322 ISBN 978-1107047860 3 Carat Mbabic, Michael C. 1994 Stanley Diamond and the Dialectics of His African Encounter Dialectical Anthropology 19, 23137165210.1007 forward slash BF0130145 ISSN 0304-4092 S2 SID 1457303524 4 Carriage Writers and Editors War Tax Protest 30 January 1968 New York Post References, Edit Stanley Diamond, In Memoriam Dialectical Anthropology, Vol. 16, No. 2, June, 1991, pp. 105 106 External links, Edit The African Activist Archive Project website includes the pamphlet Nigeria Model of a Colonial Failure by Stanley Diamond published by the American Committee on Africa in 1967. Categories, 1922 births 1991 deaths American ethnographers American tax resistors. Cultural anthropologists Jewish American social scientists Jewish socialists. Jewish anthropologists 20th century American anthropologists Jewish American poets. American male poets Jewish anti-fascists Jewish American anti-racism activists Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF American anti-racism activists University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill alumni New York University alumni Columbia Graduate School of Arts and Sciences alumni University of California, Los Angeles Faculty Brandeis University Faculty The New School Faculty British Army Personnel of World War II Jewish American Military Personnel Victims of McCarthyism American Anti-Vietnam War Activists Activists for African American Civil Rights Deaths from Liver Cancer in New York, State Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF.